Ladies and gentlemen, my cheeky M words, welcome back to the Calm Zone. And today I'm going to show you how I'm going to achieve, hopefully, 1 million prayer XP per hour. This does not include prep time because, well, to be honest, just like the last runecrafting video, I don't give a fuck. I'm doing this AFK and inefficiently. I just want to reach as much prayer XP as I can. I mean, I've got 2,600 fucking dragon bone meal for fuck's sake in my bank. This is all done through daily bone meal making, and I did it with um, Superior Dragon Bone recently just to really uh, speed up the process for this video, and I want to try to reach the highest possible XP that I can. Now, I'm not going to be doing it the most efficiently as well because, like I've said, I don't give a shit, that's the best way to play this game as I have for the past 15 years, but nonetheless, this will be the most XP per hour you can possibly gain in one hit. Now, I am aware of the altar over here in the wilderness, and people will argue that it's technically 700% XP per fucking bone here. So try not to think like that, that mathematically it's 700% XP. If you if you want to live your life through the wiki and what other people try to tell you how to play, you're more than likely going to have an inverted cock by the time you're 32. So we're going to just sit here and have a bit of fun, see what sort of XP rates we can get, and um... Suck a fucking fat one. So good luck. I'm gonna start the I'm gonna start a clock over here to my right. The plan is to teleport. Hurry the fuck up. Spam the fuck out of this thing. Look at that. 600 fucking XP. Spamming that shit. That's fucking beautiful. I haven't even hit start on the fucking clock. God damn it. I can talk to the ghost of Cypher. You don't have to do it every fucking time, but you can collect your tickets because I think there's a limit to how much they can hold. Teleport back to the Shandy Pass and you're back in again. So basically, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna speed this process up. Bank these two fuckers. Get more out and repeat. We should be able to get a fat amount of XP. My prediction is 1 million XP per hour. I haven't actually done the math myself. I will do the math uh, separately and I'll put the, the numbers up on the screen so you guys can see exactly what sort of uh, XP rates we're getting. This is not too bad of a method. I did spend the past maybe day or two just grinding uh, bones in the Ectophantus just to get some extra, extra bone meal out of the way. And you can buy the slime from the charter boats, I think. 90% sure that you can, so don't quote me on that, but... I believe you can, but most of my bone meal has come from the daily itself. If you do wish to grind your bones, it doesn't actually take too long. It is a, a slow process, but if you're AFKing, playing fucking your group Iron Man, if you're AFKing, playing New World, anything like that, now is the perfect time to take advantage of the the more dominant prey XP per hour. If you really give that much of a shit about being efficient and, and minimizing the amount of time you play this game, which is quite ironic because us as RuneScape players, the goal is to literally play this game as little as possible. Everyone wants to spend the least amount of time playing this game to reach the end game. It's very strange because you won't find that in any other gaming genre. Every other game you want to play as much as you can, but RuneScape, spend as little time possible playing, skip over as many quests and fucking skills as you can, and just start fucking raiding. And eventually, when you make it to raids, you realize that you're fucking dog shit anyway, and it was a complete waste of your fucking time. And now you're sitting there with max combat stats and 69 Slayer because you're a fucking retard. And now you're gonna have to go and actually do some Slayer because it's embarrassing not being able to kill anything in max combat. You can't kill fucking gargoyles. Bad luck. Nice head. So I've been doing this method now for about seven and a half minutes, and my findings are that my average time on doing inventory, including teleports, is about 20 seconds. My fastest I achieved was 17 seconds. But I want to I want to say 25 seconds is probably an average uh, due to misclicking teleports, collecting tickets, just being dog shit, not giving a fuck. You know, pretty standard things for a, for a decent uh, RuneScape player. So I'm going to put some math up on the screen now for what sort of XP rate you can assume for about 25 seconds per inventory, including teleports and banking, and 17 seconds as well for what I would like to think. If you really tried, you could absolutely fucking maximize. I'll do this for Superior Dragon Bones, Normal, and Hydra Bones, so that way. I believe they're probably the three most popular bones to be used in this situation. However, the big question now is, is this ever worth your fucking time doing? And the answer is, well, it really does depend. My opinion would be to wait until 85 prior because that's the absolute maximum you need for all sorts of uh, diary content and then you can just send the rest at the Ectophantas. Reason being is because once you've done your elite Mauritania diaries, you get 39 bone meal and buckets daily. Do that for a full year, you can probably send it to 99. It's the equivalent to like, instead of just uh, doing herb runs daily on a farm run, you're just doing tree runs every day instead. It's a bit faster if you go to the wilderness in the grand scheme of things, but it doesn't really give a shit because the skill doesn't matter past 85. Unless you're absolutely desperate for those extra 14 prayer points, it might be worth your time to not fucking touch Slayer past 85, train on other skills and just do your daily bone meals. And then one day, send it and get 99 in a day. In my opinion, if you think about it just like an autist, which I am, you might technically save time in the long run just doing dailies and not worrying about mass training prior past 85. You don't need it unless you are, like I said, going for max, but if you did these daily and max every other skill, it'd be just like doing a farm run daily on the trees. You'd be fucking fine in no time.
It's just an AFK skill in the background you're going to learn. So that's my honest take. That's probably the way I'm going to go to 99 anyway. It's just do daily bone meals until I can get there. I mean, I've got like 91, 92 prayer banked already uh, because of this whole method. So I'm going to just keep doing that. It's not too bad of an idea. It's very quick XP. I don't seem to be too bored compared to the way I was doing the runecrafting method. That cunt was fucked. This is a hell of a lot faster XP, so it's kind of more satisfying to watch. I mean, I've been at this just over 10 minutes now. And I've almost done all the fucking superior dragon bones already. It's fucking awesome. And I got the bone crusher charges too. If I absolutely do need that in the future, I'm obviously not going to need it past 99 prayer, so that won't matter. I just uh, reached 89 prayer actually. Can I get a GZ in the fucking comment section, boys? Fuck yeah, 89 prayer. That's a fucking Zoe pancakes pogging off. Let's go fish in a barrel. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Unless, of course, your cock goes inwards then. Well, you can still come along to the party. Just know that that big dick energy is always generated here at discord.gg slash big dick energy. We're getting 1.1 mil XP an hour. And I've, I've misclicked teleports. I've been quite slow. I've collected tokens a few times. We're getting 1.1 mil XP an hour. That's insane. You just AFK this for like six months straight. Make as much bone meal as you can. And then you send out the Ectophantus. If you do this right, imagine... I, don't, I mean, I'll do the math after, but... If you were even more efficient, you could probably squeeze out 1.4 mil XP if you're really fucking pushing it. I don't know how many tickets these guys hold. I'll have to find out what the limit is. If there is no limit, then fuck, don't even worry about collecting tickets to the fucking end. But I remember back a while ago, you used to have to collect tickets from them before you could continue. Uh, they may have removed that limit, I don't know. Let's say, let's be, let's be optimistic here and say you just go to 85 prayer for the diaries and you're done. Then you do the rest here at the Active Hunters. You will... You, you can just AFK it. There's no need to go to the Chaos Altar after this. You won't get PK'd. You're getting more XP per bone. I know that the Altar does give you a 50% chance to reuse the bone. It's not a fair statistic to, to run the numbers on. I know mathematically it can be better for you, but this game is nothing but pure RNG. How often do you go max best in slot gear and still send fucking zeros on fucking goblins in Lumbridge? And you just sit there going, why? Why is this happening? Because fuck you. Okay, because you're garbage. So don't sit there worrying about the chances of something happening, ma mathematically being better. The Ectophantus is the best way to train your prayer because it's fucking fast XP per hour. Don't worry about being efficient with your time. You want to be efficient with your time in prayer, make the daily bone meal, and then fuck off and go do something else in this game. Like, I don't know, Slayer, or go fucking raid with the boys. Go get a job at Blizzard and finger blast female employees for all I care. Do whatever you want. I don't even know if you need the prayer level to, to do this, because I think you need a certain prayer level to use superior dragon bones. I have no clue what the fuck it is, but I don't know if the, the bone meal might be a way around it as well for those low levels. As soon as you unlock the active hunters, it's 600 XP per bone, flat. If you're still not convinced, put it this way. It's been about four minutes since I've leveled up to level 89, and I'm already 14% of the way to level 90. 15% of the way to level 90 now. I'm already 15% of the way through the fucking level 89. Where else are you going to find XP rates this high? If you want to see more juicy content like this, if you want to check out the group Iron Man content we've got going, Make sure you come by to the streams here at YouTube. We stream here. We don't stream on Twitch. Oh, okay. There isn't any room to put any more in. What the fuck is this? Okay, so they hold 1,000 tickets at a time. 1,000 Ecto tokens is how many uh, they can hold. So I don't know how many fucking buckets and barrels that is, but we'll just keep going to the fucking end now. As I was saying, we don't stream on Twitch because I'm not a cuck, and I like to make sure that you guys get the best value stream that you possibly can. So we're here on YouTube fucking gunning it every day. Join the Discord so you don't miss a fucking video, miss a stream, miss any cum. Now it's going to keep sending it now to the fucking end and we'll uh, look at the results and read the benefits. I've got about 50 bone meal left before I realised that the HD wasn't even turned on. So I've turned it on now and it looks a hell of a lot fucking better. Although this footage is being sped up, I'm sure you guys still appreciate the, uh, the quality of change in the graphics here. And here we are, the final inventory. Just under 20 minutes. Look at that, 19 minutes and 30 seconds to do 610 superior dragon bone bone meals. We're 30% of the way through level 89. We leveled up to level 89 about about seven minutes ago. And we're already fucking gunning it. Not too bad. The XP per hour we're looking at here is roughly 1.113 mil. And it's dropping, obviously, because we're not doing anything anymore. We made how many fucking Ecto tokens? 3,180. So that's a shitload of charges for the Bone Crusher. This is a pretty decent method. I believe you can go over those Org Bones as well, which might be... Which are even more XP than... The superior dragon bones, but I don't know if you can crush them into bone meal. So you probably could go even fucking faster if you really wanted to, but hell, that's a lot of fucking XP. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's not a bad method to do some content if you get bored, if you want to do your dailies and take advantage of those diaries. I highly recommend it. My name is King Condor. Don't forget to come to the streams. Most importantly, suck a fucking fat one. And I'll see you later, cunt.